Well, I'm here with Glenn Williams. Welcome to the to the Farmington Players Barn too, Glenn. Thanks, thank you. We're just, again, we're thrilled to have you guys here tonight. It's a special gift to us to have you perform here. So okay. we're really looking forward to it. But uh, I wanted to ask you, you guys have been together for 18 years mm -hmm. and you're such a tight group. How does that relationship work? It must really be a strong relationship. It is, it is. A um, couple of ways things happen. Um, we do have our disagreements, mm -hmm. but they're never about, hey, you're an idiot. <laughs> it's always about the best way to get things done, and that's mm -hmm. really the reason why we've continued to exist. And, and when we're so tight, when, when we're together on stage, each one of us knows when the next person is going to take a breath. Wow. And, and you can't even say that about, how many people can say that about their spouses, really? I mean, to know, you know, right now, <sighs> and something's going to happen. It just mm -hmm. doesn't work that way. Wow. So it's, it's really, really wild. We spend a lot of time together in cars and traveling, you know, airplanes, and, you know, you get three of the big guys right in the same aisle. You know, How you doing? Good to see you, Paul. How you doing, Mark? You know, or uh, years ago, if it, uh, we used to ride in a station wagon I had bench front seat mm -hmm. guys we call them back seat so they they'd have some knee space <laughs> <laughs> well you get a lot of ribbing don't you oh yeah. i mean you're always part of the of course the part of the act that that takes all that on and you said something about an energizer bunny oh yeah yeah uh, one of our early shows we did at michigan state um they we found these big pair of bunny ears and we borrowed a uh, a spartan marching band bass drum and i came from behind the curtain came out just banging on this drum, spun around, <laughs> you know, spun the, spun the drumsticks and right back out. It had nothing to do with anything else in the show. It was just this crazy moment of, <laughs> of being the Energizer Bunny. What I, what I find is unique is that you guys are spontaneous, but yet you do still have that tightness so you know what the other person's gonna do. So yes. how does that work? How do you have that balance? Well, we studied with a, um, a, a former producer of ours from the Nylons, Mr. Paul Cooper, mm -hmm. and he taught us really that you have a framework to work within. Okay, you know you're going to do this bit. And so you go through and you do it and new things happen, but you always are just, uh, you're aware of what someone else is about to do. And you're just kind of tuned in to say, yeah, oh, Chuck's going something we're new over here. And you try to give them the space to do that. Sure. And so the, you know, the bit will be there show to show to show but you never know it's going to be the same, I mean, especially if it's an audience interaction moment. Uh, mm -hmm. Chuck often goes out oh, to the sure. audience and pretends to be Elvis, and you just <laughs> never know what that guest person that you bring up on stage is going to do. Uh, sometimes he'll serenade a woman, sometimes he'll turn a man into Elvis, and you know the reactions <laughs> can be just all over the place. In fact, we had, we had one gentleman up there, we taught him, you know, okay, now give the audience you know, the Elvis finger, no, <laughs> he gave him, <laughs> flew him the bird twice. Oh, no. <laughs> so you just never know. I oh, mean, no. But that's the only time that's happened. We run a family show and, well. Yeah. Yeah. But you kind of do have to be prepared for everything, don't you? You do. Oh, you do. my gosh. And it, it's, uh, it's a unique relationship, too, between comedy and music. And yeah. You guys I are very so. talented musically. And, uh, of course, the audience really appreciates that. But when you throw in the comedy, too, it just makes it such a great evening. Thanks. Everybody. Thank you. So you were telling me a little earlier about one of your favorite stories, one of your experiences. Do you want to tell us that one about sliding and? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, a show we did years ago. We were opening uh -huh. up for Bobby V, and it was an outdoor show, at actually on a baseball diamond, and it had been raining with a steel stage decking. I came running up on that steps for that very first song, hit the top step with these plastic black uh -huh. shoes. Whew, Feet went that way, head went that way, <laughs> wham! Ouch. Right down, oh, rung the stage, something fierce. Oh, no. And I got up, took a bow, and <laughs> you know, <laughs> off the show went, yeah. Oh, oh it was funny, man. but oh, it, I paid for that one. <laughs> yeah, you did. Well, you know, what's, what's wonderful about your group, too, is it's just great to be around four guys that really love what they do. And not everybody is, has that about their jobs. And mm -hmm. can you give some advice to young musicians about how, you know, you found that perfect place for anybody whatever it is you love to do find a way to make that your career whether it's music computers whatever it is find that thing in your side yourself that makes you tick and work as hard as you can to make that your career because that's the only way to survive in this world there are too many people who have children who have horrible jobs and they come home from work they're grumpy they're miserable 
in this in the metro detroit area they spend an hour in rush hour traffic going out spent an hour in rush hour traffic coming home they hate their lives and what happens it goes to their kids it's up to the next generation to say enough of that i need to find what makes me happy and find a way to make that my career george burns said find a job that you love and you'll never work a day in your life yeah. and that's the that's that's the way to do it and he kept doing it until the very end, didn't he? Absolutely. I mean, he was on stage till Absolutely. forever. Yeah. Forever. So I'm sure you guys will be too. I sure hope so. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite song to perform? I'm going to say I've got two. Okay. We do uh, the uh, Charlie Brown. Oh. And I just love being the character of Charlie Brown. I'm the troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> 